Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah Olson and I live in Minnesota with my husband and our three kids. This is Faya, she is our youngest. And today's video is going to be a lot different. Oh, do you see yourself? Today's video is gonna be a lot different than my other videos about homeschooling and homemaking because we are leaving on a trip. We're headed to Montana, Western Montana, to visit my grandparents. And I'm so excited because my grandma, she can't travel very much and she has not even met Soren, who is almost four years old. So it's definitely time to get out there and we're turning it into a whole fun road trip, including Mount Rushmore, Yellowstone, Battle of Little Bighorn, all sorts of things. So I thought I'd pick up the camera and document this trip so we can can rewatch our adventures later. So thank you for being here and for coming along with us. Now it is time for me to get going on packing. I like to pack usually the day of and I've done all the cleaning and tidying and food prep that I can for this road trip, but it's time to really get packing. You are so cute. The kids have been doing an awesome job in the back. Do you have any news to share with us? Yes. I lost my tooth. You lost a tooth this morning, I right before we left. Tooth. Look at that beautiful smile. So pretty, Sophie. That's very exciting. This is her third tooth. It's a little after 2 p.m. on our first day of this trip, and we are doing a late lunch. We're going to stop at a rest stop in a little bit because Svea has been happy, and if she's been happy or just sleeping, then we wanted to really make tracks and get some miles under our belt. So we are going to stop in a little bit here and have lunch out of our cooler. Oh, buddy. Those are fun though. Mm -hmm. Eight bucks. Yeah, I'm going to go slow. Eight bucks for six. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. That's really cool, buddy. So we're at a rest stop somewhere in South Dakota. I'll have to figure that out. And I nursed Svea and we had a little picnic, which is our favorite way to do lunches when we travel. And Bjorn brought these awesome airplanes for the kids to throw and chase around here at the rest stop, which is always so much fun. We love a good rest stop. There was no playground, but we didn't need one. It was just something somewhere where we can all run around and have bathroom breaks and a little lunch, picnic lunch. So back on the road again, and we will get to the Mount Rushmore area tonight. Sophie's got some road trip essentials there. We've got a binder full of printed off coloring pages and some colored pencils and her Yodo player. So Soren is listening to his as well. We love those so much and they are coming in handy on this road trip too. to a gas station and I think it's Kadoka, South Dakota and we're gonna stop and have supper and then we have just like two hours or less left to go till we are at our Buffalo Ridge Camp Resort. <laughs> and Bjorn is peeking at the kids while he is fueling up right now. We are gonna have another picnic meal and then be on our way a little bit further. We just arrived in our teepee at Buffalo Ridge Camp Resort. There's the kids bed. There's a king size bed here. We had to drive through the most torrential rain, rainstorm to get here, but this is really fun. It's one of their luxury teepees. It's raining right now, but here's the outside of our mountain lion teepee. Good morning. 
We are on the road. It's not even 7.30 and we are off to Mount Rushmore. Last night we arrived in torrential rain. It was this huge rainstorm. Bjorn did a great job navigating the roads because it was just so dark and you had the reflection of all the other cars' lights. But we made it and we all slept quite well in our teepee. I'm so glad that we got to have a night in a teepee. It's just something I've always wanted to do. I thought it would be really fun. And of course it's not historically accurate. It's more of the glamping category, but it was really fun. I would love to go back on a not rainy day and when we're, you know, not needing to go to Mount Rushmore right away and continue on with the trip because it would be really fun to have a fire and swim in their pool. So Buffalo Ridge Camp Resort was a really, really great place to stop on our trip. Our teepee is only about a 25, 29 minute drive from Mount Rushmore. Sophie brought a coloring page that I printed her for, it's a picture of Mount Rushmore. A map from the visitor center? The visitor center. Let's go. There's so many cute looking shops and stuff here in Keystone. We would like to come back someday and do all the touristy things besides Mount Rushmore. to the Battle of Little Bighorn. I almost fell asleep in the car. And we are gonna do the visitor center and then they have a battlefield tour road, which is four and a half miles long. waiting in the car as Bjorn kind of runs around and reads all the signs at the different stops. Which is fine, I'm happy to hold down the fort in the car too, and this way he gets to learn and read what he wants to. There are horses on the road here. The tour road for the battlefield. <laughs> They've all done a really, really good job in the car. It's a little echoey in here. They've all done a really good job and it's been a long day of travel. Tomorrow will be a long day doing Yellowstone and getting to my grandparents, which is kind of the main purpose of this trip. So we are happy to be here in this little cottage. Well, we got to our Airbnb here in Joliet. I think it's Joliet, Montana, a little while ago. And it's a really sweet cottage next to an apple orchard 
and it's called the Gateway to Yellowstone on Airbnb. So it's close enough for us to start heading to Yellowstone early tomorrow morning. And it has a room for the kids and a room for us, meaning Bjorn, myself, and Svea. Here's the room for, hi bud. Here's the room for Bjorn and me. I already was nursing Svea there. And here's the room for the kids. And there's a little laundry room in the entryway when you first come in. this morning from our Airbnb just because we want to get that two hour drive done earlier and get to Yellowstone earlier because tonight we're going to get to my grandparents. This is so fun for me because the kids have never seen mountains in real life. We live in a pretty uh, rural flat part of southern Minnesota so this is really fun for them and I think, I think there will be a lot of drawings and paintings when we get back home of mountains that they saw. The kids have been really, really good travelers. They've got Yodo players. I don't think anyone fell back asleep, but they're listening to their stories and looking outside, starting to spot the mountains, which is really fun. Leading up to this trip for homeschool, we definitely read books about all of the topics and the places we'll be seeing, and I think that'll really help with our kids having good background knowledge and then being more like interested in being at Yellowstone because we read a book about Yellowstone and we even read a book about Sitting Bull and Little Bighorn Battlefield and what was the other thing we read a book about? We read books about Mount Rushmore so I think it'll really help us all to enjoy the trip more. We're gonna go through Beartooth Pass to the northeast entrance of Yellowstone. We are, what is it, 65 miles away but that is an hour and a half at least. At the top of a mountain here in, I think it's Beartooth Pass. These roads are insane. We do not know why we are out here. <laughs> Full of that Scared of the cost in our own life But those who are right the bar This is my kind of switchback. Those other ones where you're skirting the... What were we doing? Skirting the whole you edge of the mountain? I read it. You read it? Good job, honey. Those switchbacks were beyond frightening. We saw our first wildlife, bison. Did you see her? Hey, Daddy. Hmm. How, how big a buffalo? They're bigger than a cow. I got some buffalo. You did. Man, Those are so buffalo. buffalo. The the rangers waving yeah. us. The rangers like. Oh, Well, we made it to Old Faithful, but I think I overheard someone say it doesn't go off for another hour. So, Bjorn's in the store to go check. We're killing time because we missed Old Faithful by 20 minutes. We got the kids some stuffed animals at the gift store. And I got a sweatshirt. We're waiting for Old Faithful now. I think we have between 10 and 20 minutes. Now, now I know why you only... So we 
we did Old Faithful and now we're gonna exit out of the west entrance gate and head up north to my grandparents. We'd love to come back to Yellowstone someday, but we just, we can't fit it all in, of course. Goodbye, Yellowstone. here at my grandparents house in Montana in western Montana and we've been enjoying breakfast together a long late breakfast and just a lot of family time and chatting and the older two kids have been playing so it's just been really wonderful we are going to go find a park so we can kind of run off some of the kids energy and then check out the local farmers market stuff like that and then we'll just continue on with more fun family time we are here all day today which is Saturday we got in last night and then we will be leaving tomorrow Tomorrow after church I think um, from here and starting our trek back home to Minnesota with some more stops along the way so it's been really special I don't get to see my grandparents very often so we have really enjoyed our time and they've enjoyed getting to meet Svea and then my grandma got to meet Soren as well it's such a sweet farmers market Sophie, what'd you find? Um, these are the leaves that we want to paint with Grandy. You want to paint leaves with Grandy? Yeah, they were the little mountains. Yeah, look at the mountains. I might paint a mountain or a mountain goat. Very cool. Yeah, have a great day. We got Huckleberry Lemonade. Good? Was it good? Was it good? <laughs> We're burning off energy at this awesome park in town. Is that Spaya? <laughs> there she is. We are at a park right now that was recommended to us by my aunt, and we are just burning off some energy because it's hard to sit still sometimes after a day of a lot of travel. So Sophie and Soren are playing with Bjorn. And we've just had a really nice morning with my grandparents. We've been, um, we had a late breakfast and just really enjoyed chatting and the kids were playing so nicely. Then we decided to explore the town a little bit and we went to the farmer's market too. So it's just really fun to enjoy this nice weather in this mountain town. <laughs> Is that little spell? You have three more minutes. We're exploring the this little town. The town of Hamilton. I think we'll check out that coffee shop. Kitty corner over there. We saw there was a bookstore and what else? A toy store? We're not really hungry. And we know we'll have a big supper tonight, so we might just get ice cream or something really healthy like that. We love doing all the touristy things, so we're gonna grab some ice cream and then I think it's time to head back to my grandparents. Well, we're on the road again. Um, we have about a four hour drive to Bozeman tonight. We just had a really wonderful weekend with my grandparents and we just said bye to them and we're pulling out. It's kind of nice that it's not a very long travel day for us just because after church and lunch and we wanted to spend more time with my grandparents, then we don't want a really long travel day. So we are looking forward to seeing the Museum of the Rockies tomorrow morning. And so that's why we are stopping in Bozeman tonight. The kids have new sticker books that I saved for the road home, the drive home. I saved about half of the fun new things to do for the drive home, which has so far proved to be a good plan.
Bozeman. This is the town that my dad grew up in. So we're gonna find a restaurant after we check into our hotel. So it is Sunday night and Svea and I are hanging out in the hotel room while Soren and Sophie and Bjorn are swimming. Wow, you can tell I'm tired if I had to try to think of everyone's names. Um, we didn't even have that much driving today. We drove for maybe four, four and a half hours and we're in Bozeman, Montana tonight. We promised the kids a hotel pool, which is always fun when we travel. Say hi. Svea has been working on practically crawling. She doesn't crawl officially yet, but she sure looks like it. She has her feet tucked under her and then she's kind of rocking back and forth. So that's really exciting and a fun development that has started on this trip. Tomorrow's a bit of a bigger day. We're gonna go to the Museum of the Rockies here in Bozeman tomorrow morning. And then we have about a nine hour drive if we want. We might not get that far, but it's gonna be a longer driving day for the latter half of the day. We're trying to get closer to Desmet, South Dakota because that is where the Ingalls Homestead is and it's this really fun place. Hopefully. I'll have some video clips of that, but it's a fun place where we can experience a lot of what the Ingalls family did in their life in South Dakota. So yeah, we're enjoying a little bit of relaxation and just fun stuff here on Sunday night. It's been a really good trip. The kids have be been really, really good travelers, which has been more fun and more enjoyable for everybody. We're at the Museum of the Rockies this morning, which is so fun. Bjorn and the kids are already headed in and I had to grab Svea from the van and try to wear her because we didn't bring the stroller on purpose, but it just takes an extra minute. So we're excited to go in Museum of the Rockies. It, I think it's run by Montana State University and you can see the mountains right there. It's so fun to have those in the backdrop everywhere we go over here. So this vlog reflects, of course, the highlights of this trip and the fun adventures that we're doing. But there are many things that I haven't shared on this vlog because if you're a parent, you know the realities of a road trip with kids, especially young children and babies. It involves a lot of um, rest stops, gas station stops, bathroom breaks, changing, and nursing. So we've definitely had all of those moments in this trip too. And that's just how life is for us at this season. And there are really sweet parts about that too. The dinosaur viewing laboratory. So cool. This is, it said sub adult triceratops skull and baby triceratops skull. So it had little knobs. Yeah, it says that it was very young. Um, it doesn't say, it just says it was very young. And it had a short nose. What an amazing room. And some of this is, you know, plaster replicas, but so much of this is real. Are you having fun? Yes. So I just got a an iced vanilla chai, which is my favorite Starbucks drink, but from this place called City Brew Coffee here in Bozeman. And when you walk in, it looks exactly like a Starbucks. And I told the guy who was working there, and he said, yeah, we kind of try to be like Starbucks. So I got my iced vanilla chai, and honestly, it tastes so much like the one I get from Starbucks, so that's really fun. That's a pretty sunset. We're in the middle of nowhere, South Dakota. Bjorn just reminded me we are still in Montana. homestead is. You can hear Sophie's Yodo player. She's listening to a Paw Patrol story in the back there. We found a hotel in Wall, South Dakota last night. So that is the home of the famous Wall drug. 
and if you've ever seen bumper stickers on people's cars saying I've been to Wall or Wall Drug, that's what that is. We did not visit it ourselves, we just crashed there for the night and now we've got a four hour drive to get to this Ingalls Homestead today. And then after the Ingalls Homestead we just have about a three hour drive to be home again. So it's our last day of our road trip and we have some fun mixed in. We're here. Perks of being a homeschool family visiting on a Tuesday in late September. We are one of the only families here. Kathy would be their home over the next five years. Charles and Caroline made good on their bet with Uncle Sam. Filed and published for a mere 16 They have the cutest store inside. I want to buy everything. And we're doing the tour a little bit backwards, or the activity is a little backwards, because they have have a slower day today and we're going to go for a covered wagon ride, I think. We just finished up our covered wagon ride, which was really fun. And um, Bjorn's favorite part was probably the cornfield there because they planted it in 40 inch by 40 inch ro rows, which is like the 1880s or very old school way of doing it. And now we've been sent over here to do the wash. Next, they get to make a jumping rope out of baling twine. All right, it's our long-awaited Cracker Barrel stop. I love Cracker Barrel on any road trip whenever we can, so we're making this happen before we head the last couple hours home because it's supper time. We're on our final stretch of this trip. We have about an hour left before we are home, and everyone's doing well. We are just going to, I'm gonna finish up this vlog right here. I've been sitting here um, trying to write down our trip in our trip journal because I got a few days behind and I wanted to make sure to write everything down. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was fun for you to come along on this trip with us and we will be back to our regular scheduled programming of things more like homemaking and homeschooling and motherhood very soon. Hope you're having a great day wherever you're at and I'll see you in my next one.